just out here testing my amphibio with my five by nine and a half inch coil in the test garden here. This is a clad quarter that I buried here about a week ago, six inches deep. Three tone, I'll go to four tone, jack the gain up here a little bit. Put my iron volume, oh, four tone overloads on stuff if I go up too high with my gain, so I'll just drop my gain down. Get it dialed in here a little bit for four tone. Uh, my iron volume is down, so I need to go up with my iron volume to two. That's at 20 kilohertz. I'll go to 14 kilohertz. You know, my soil is really hot and super conductive right now because you got done downpouring. I had a whole bunch of detectors out here and it got soaking wet. But I'm still, still at it, you know, still at it. Had to take six detectors inside. Just doing some testing in my backyard here. Here's a nickel at five inches deep. Reading the 80s, it's a nickel. Right? Usually they read up in the 30s or so with the amphibio in, in mild soil. But this is hot soil back here. And I got some jewelry right here. It's not going to hit it. It's not going to hit that jewelry an inch and a half deep right here. Uh, it's, it hit a little teeny bit. There's a gold bracelet right there on the surface. Right on the surface, right? Gold bracelet. Go up to 20 kilohertz. See if it'll hit it then. Yeah, it's hitting it. I'll go over this dime here at three inches deep. In the iron, right? Just massive iron all around here. Foil right there. Oh, up right on the surface, you can see you can see it. It's, there's some foil right there. There's some more foil underneath this piece of blue tile here. Right, reads up nice and clear. Here's a silver dime at three, or a clad dime at three inches. I'm just gonna go into three tone here. Actually, I'll stay in four tone and I'll um, just hunt a little bit in my backyard here. dug up a square nail there earlier or actually two of them dug up another two uh three four square nails in that hole there i used my simplex my amphibio and my dais on that hole there dug up a couple square nails i wasn't able to find the target there but i had my uh seven inch concentric coil on the amphibio but yeah just trying to get some relics out of my backyard here. I found silver, relics, toys, all kinds of jewelry in my backyard. I'm gonna move this container here out of the way. See if I'm getting a target here. But I've been out here all day long. Just the, the clay is super hot today. Very, very hot soil. Conductive red clay. And actually, I'm just going to talk here just for a second. Not for a second, but for a couple minutes. What makes an expert metal tetris, you know? It's, there's not a bunch of glory in it, right? Um, I've been detecting for a lot of years. I have a lot of detectors. And, you know, it's not about what detector you swing, being an expert, you know? It's not about how many detectors you have. It's not about what you're digging up. If you're digging up deep half dollars or a, bunch, a hoard of silver, 
or if you're digging up um, ancient artifacts, it doesn't matter. All that stuff doesn't matter, man. It's kind of irrelevant to what you're digging up, what kind of detectors you have, um, how many detectors you have. It's about if you just keep on going. To keep on going, man. That determination is what you, makes you an expert. You know, I do a lot of testing on all my coils, my detectors, different frequencies, different modes, different settings. I want to know what they do. So when I get out of the field, when I come into a situation where I'm in harsh conditions, like four foot tall grass, you know, or a downpour of rain, or uh, a place that has just riddled with old iron, I know what detector to use. I know what settings to use. I know what coil to use. I know how fast to swing because I don't always swing fast like in my videos, you know. That's just for videos, you know, I, I swing fast because I want to get a lot out of the ground. You know, when I'm not making my videos, I swing slower and I try to get those deeper targets. I'm usually recording too, but I usually don't post the, those targets, um, post those deeper targets because um, they're just like one find in the video. You know, I want a lot of finds in the video. I want to show you guys what live digs are all about. That's what metal detecting is, man. Live digs is the way to go. You know, um, I don't want to watch a person just digging a bunch of stuff, uh, a, a person's finds just on the surface, you know, already extracted out. I want to know what that, what that metal detector sounds like. I want to know how fast they're swinging. I want to know how deep that target was to what it sounded like, to what the, what the tones were like, you know? And if you could go out in any kind of conditions and start smacking out targets, and I'm not talking about silver, I'm not talking about gold, I'm not talking about um, jewelry, I'm talking about anything. If you could dig a pull top tab out in four foot tall grass, you are a freaking expert, man. Because digging in four foot tall grass is tough. If you can go out into a relic dump and dig a freaking 10 inch deep square nail, you're an expert, man. If you can dig it in hot soil like I dig in, my soil is on fire some days. Some days I can't even metal detect because no metal detectors will do it because the ground is so conductive and all the minerals in, this, in the soil, just you can't metal detect, it's impossible. That's, that's when I spend the time in my test garden testing my machines out, seeing which coils are gonna perform on different targets better seeing which settings are gonna I'm, I'm, gonna I'm gonna be able to hit certain targets at but when it comes down to being an expert you know there's there's no really rhyme or reason to metal detecting you know if you want to become an expert just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig and dig no matter what the conditions no matter what you're digging up because if you're finding pull tabs or if you're finding clad coins there's probably some more under the ground that you're missing. There's not, there's probably not more. There is more. If, if you want to become an expert, you need to understand that every day is different and the soils are different in all different areas. You go to a farm field and sometimes you hit that hot soil and man, your metal texture just goes crazy. If you're an expert, you can dial in your metal detector and figure it out. Experts are problem solvers, and most metal detectorists are problem solvers, right? They want to get down to the solution. And I've had so many days where I've been in some epic sites, man. I've pulled up lots of silver, lots of jewelry, or lots of old coins. And I've had so many days in that same site where there's nothing I dug up but square nails, or nothing I dug up but just a bunch of junk, just random little bits of brass or copper or lead or just random stuff, you know? But what makes me an expert is other people call me, calling me an expert. I didn't just go out and just call myself an expert. You know, you gotta kinda have some other people call you experts. And it's not, not all cracked up what, it's, what, it, what, it, uh, what it looks like, you know? Being an expert is tough because you're out here in the rain, like right now it's raining, I'm gonna still keep on going. Nothing's gonna stop me, right? I still, there's relics in this backyard and I want them dug up. And 
that's what makes you an expert did you keep on going 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 no matter what it takes you know it's not really about what you're finding what detector you have it's about if you can just keep on going and understand that all days are different some days you're going to find a lot of stuff in certain sites that are epic and some days you're not but you can come back two weeks later after you get skunked on a certain site for that certain day. You can come back two weeks later and hunt in the same exact spots and have your best day ever. That's what being an expert is all about. Understanding that concept that every day is different, man. I've hunted on some really killer sites and not gotten much on certain days. Just the, sometimes metal texture just won't do it on certain days. But today I got skunked in my backyard here. I dug up a lot of square nails and the, the red clay here is horrible. But I'm still gonna keep on detecting. Even though I've gone through two sets of clothes already because <laughs> of rainstorms and whatnot. And I had a bunch of detectors sitting out here earlier. Um, but I'm just gonna still keep on going. Actually, I wanna do some live digs here. Let's do it. Let's get wet again, right? Got to keep on going, man. And to become an expert, you got to be comfortable feeling uncomfortable, right? It's raining right now, but I'm fine with it, right? Just going to keep on going with it. With the amphibio, you really got to listen. I'm in four tones, so I'm going to go three tones here. My coil's too big. Fit in between there, right? My coil's too big. My, the back portion back here the soil is really hot today this clay I'll, I'll just pop a plug here and show you man how hot this soil is look at this clay see that red clay that's what I dig in right <coughs> and even if I go if I go to a different site if I go to a site that I've never been to before I always struggle man but I just got to overcome those struggles I gotta find the right combination of coils, frequencies, and detectors to get me through that site, to get some stuff out, to at least find something. You know, if you find a square nail or if you find uh, a little bit of brass or copper down in the ground there, there's probably some more other stuff there, especially if you start finding square nails. Square nails are a good indicator that there's something else in the soil that you want to extract. I'm going to tr do a couple more videos out here, right in the backyard here, right in the corner. See if I can smack a relic out. That's what being an expert is all about. Keep on going, because there's more stuff in the ground. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.